Uh, my friends, you are going to need more than a single green thumb to manage the gardens on some of these estates we are about to show you on our mansion segment. Stephanos Chen is right here beside me. Let me see your hands. Let me see. Not, not a farmer's Oh, hands. there's not a callus <laughs> on you. You know, I can't, I can't, okay, we got your beat. All right. I want to go first to Hillsboro, California. You can almost grow anything out there, so True. I, True they got to have a stash of gardeners. What have uh, they got? Well, it's, it's a great property. Uh, the main home is about 3,700 square feet, and it's on 2.85 acres. But what's really great about this, it's this compound that includes this uh, shoji screen tea house built back in the 1910s. It has uh, uh, basically this park-like grounds. There's a sunken garden with a reflecting pool, which isn't for swimming. It's entirely just for contemplation and looking pretty. Uh, and then behind that, you have a, a platform with these big Grecian columns for outdoor dining and sitting. Uh, and there's a, also a, a grove of redwood trees with a clearing for camping. So basically so you anything. you an arborist in the family. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, the addition, you said this is running about 8.8. .8 Eight, 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 eight very million. auspicious a lot of eights number. In there. Yes. I like the number eight. All right, that's in Hillsborough, California. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, I assume you got to have a pretty good irrigation system. Well, that, that's what's pretty remarkable about this property. If you see the aerial shot, which I think we have here, oh. it's uh, basically kept really lush green. You wouldn't know it's in the desert. With this drip irrigation system, keeps all of the 1.85 acres green. You've got a vegetable and herb garden, which the owner loves because she walks out of her kitchen and uses that in her cooking. There's a, a cutting garden for flowers. She's got some roses. There's also an outdoor uh, pergola, you know, some call it the arbor, uh, which you can sit under. It's got this really rustic feel for outdoor dining. Uh, it, the house is about 6,300 square feet, uh, and inside it's a six bedroom home. You've got bamboo flooring and views out onto uh, the mountains. It's a gorgeous place, and you know, having a cutting garden for cooking uh, herbs, vegetables, that's what I have. Not quite to that scale, <laughs> but it is easier than going to the store. All right, Bedford Hills, New York. Uh, this is a pretty lavish compound on 22 acres. Uh, yeah, this is big. There's plenty of garden space. So uh, what's great about this is it's a poured, poured concrete home, very contemporary, which is partially built over a moat which um, I've never <laughs> seen before. So actually, there's water features right under the home. If you don't you sit, have a moat at your uh, New York City? In my one-bedroom yeah. uh, closet? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, what's great about this is you've got the dining room where the, there's a waterfall that flows underneath the room. And with the glass windows, you can actually see the water flowing from one side to the other. You have uh, Japanese rock gardens, a koi pond, pear and apple orchards. There's this pond with a zigzagging bridge, so you can kind of meditate as you walk across it. Um, and it's really, I mean, you probably couldn't see the whole property in a, in a day. I I'm looking at these pictures. That's one of the most I have to say, well, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be biased, but it's one of the most outstanding homes I've ever seen. The uh, pear and apple orchard, you were saying, is right. that correct? Yes. Uh, and what's this one on the sa on sale for? This is $30 million. $30 million. Got to save a little bit. That's 22 acres, uh, 8,395 square feet, and that's in Bedford Hills, New right. York. All right, Stephanos Chen, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate that.